Oh yeah, I think it's it's very important for you to be able to see yourself on screen. Yeah. I mean, you have to see what the world looks yeah. like. Hey, what's up y'all? It's your girl, Dara Renee, and I play Courtney on High School Musical, the musical, the series. Hello, I'm Kylie Cran, and I play Harper on Secrets of Sulphur Springs. I'm so excited that we get to chat here on Disney Plus Voices because this show is about connecting with one another, not just as Black women, but as Black creatives in the entertainment industry and all the shared experiences that come along with that. I am very excited to be here. Yes, I'm so excited to talk with you. <laughs> Let's talk about how we both got our start. Kylie, tell me how you got in the business. My family is really what got me into the show business. You know, theater, film, the whole nine. My grandma put me in a bunch of conservatories and projects and I kind of moved on from there. Started training in New York, auditioning for film as well as theater. And eventually I got to where I am now. <laughs> It's a community thing. And I think that's what keeps us really close. I shared a room with my younger sister for the majority of my life. And my youngest sister liked to stay in that room a lot. So I think that's why we're kind of all joined at the hip. I absolutely love my family. We are literally like, just like hanging around, as you said, hip to hip. Yes. Um, <laughs> literally, um, yeah, so I was, you know, I was born in LA and then I moved to Baltimore and, and my mom and I, we opened up a performing arts studio for kids. I, I'm an only child. So like the siblings were all of the students that went to school with me, which were absolutely amazing. And we were just, you know, having fun and they would always come over, you know, my grandmother's house for like a cookout or we would be sewing with my grandmother and my, um, all my aunts and my grandmother loved to sing. And so we would all harmonize together and like, have fun and my uncle would play the drums and someone played the guitar so like literally I've, I've learned so much from all of them and such a blessing that I'm able to you know be so close with my family I absolutely love them and you know we're kind of alike I feel I feel you, yes. know, energy, you know I love it I love it yes. well in honor of Black Music Appreciation Month what does it mean to be able to express yourself through music Ooh, oh my goodness, that's a great question. To be able to learn through music and learn my culture through music is absolutely brilliant. And it's it's so funny, I actually wrote a song about me learning about my culture and learning the new things and the beauty and the greatness throughout it. And I'm, I'm so grateful that not only am I able to enjoy it, I'm also able to just learn new things from music. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Um, what do you love most about your craft? Um, I guess I must say I, I really love, you know, when people come up to me and they're like, hey, you know, watching you made me feel more confident about myself. Growing up, I, I didn't really see myself that I, you know, related to. I didn't see a lot of representation on screen. So being able to not only be that, but to actually hear people say that it's it's absolutely insane and i'm i'm so grateful for it i think that's very important to younger people being able to see people they can relate to gotta show everybody on screen and that's that's literally should be the most basic fact but um the harsh realities of being in the spotlight would I guess have to be not only the criticism of others, but the criticism that I give to myself because I'm very hard on myself and I, I always want to be perfect and I know that's never going to happen. Um, but <laughs> I'm just like, I got to do this perfectly because I'm, I'm representing everyone and I, I got to make sure this is right. And this is, you know, there's a lot of criticisms that are especially given to black women in this industry. Um, I mean, the racism in, in in auditioning and colorism is still in a big effect in our industry right now, which needs to be fixed. I'm so grateful to have such a wide audience. You know, with that wide audience, you know, comes a lot of different people, you know, and their opinions and, you know, a lot of slurs and a lot of things that would be like, oh, okay, like I didn't know that was like, this was this prevalent in this day and time, you know, in 2021, we're still, we're still acting like this. So I would say, you know, how I personally deal with it is, I, I just keep going and I, I always remember that there's someone looking up to you and there's someone watching you and they and they need to see you on screen right now. You are that representation and keep going. And even though they're saying this and that, and even though they wanna bring you down, continue to go and know that the power that you hold is creating a safer space for the next actor or actress that comes after you. Yes, okay. 
<laughs> what about you, Kylie? How do how do you <laughs> deal with um, the criticisms? Because it's a lot in this industry. Yeah, it's it can be definitely overwhelming sometimes. The amount of criticism. I make sure that I'm happy with my performance and that I'm proud of what I did before taking in account other people. As you said, it's going to be a lot of different groups of people and a lot of different people are going to be watching you. But what about the tons of others who are watching me who have said, I really enjoy your character and I relate to her. Um, keep doing what you're doing. That is what keeps me going. All oh right, queen. <laughs> How do you ensure that your voice and opinion is heard? Well, there are a lot of little things that I do to make sure I can do what I can. If I don't like something, I tell them. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not a bit, I'm not comfortable with this or I'm not, I don't know how I feel about this. I make sure that people hear me because it's important to make yourself heard. A very important thing for me is my hair and wearing it natural and, and different styles, basically, just being able to have that comfortability of being able to show different textures of black hair and braids and twists and all of that. And I, I feel like it's very important for me to use my platform to show things like that. So that's my way of, you know, making my voice heard. Yeah, I, I would say that's kind of, you know, a small way of doing it. But, you know, growing up, I would love to write scripts and write music and direct and, you know, little things like that, that I feel would be really cool and open more spaces for stories that are often looked over. Yeah, we are the same. We are the yes, same. we are. We are, we are literally the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, moving on with everything going on in the world and the spotlight shining bright on social justice and racial issues. How are you doing? Ooh, um, <laughs> ooh, yeah. that's a that's a that's a good question. Um, I mean, it's it's such an interesting feeling um, because on one side you're like, I'm so glad that you know it's finally being brought to the spotlight. You know how we've been being treated for centuries and what's been going on, and you know we're often looked over. So to finally be able to have us have that spotlight, it's I'm I'm so grateful for it. But at the same time, it's like you know, constantly seeing our community be brutalized and, you know, murdered on national television. It's like, yes, I'm glad we're making change, but just to constantly see my community being treated the way that we are, it's it's so it's a lot. and it's it's a lot. You know, we've been working for centuries and I'm glad that everybody now is coming and joining us and realizing yeah. all the injustice that's been going on throughout the years. Yeah. Same mm -hmm. here. It's it's a lot opening your phone and seeing just so many people <laughs> just mm -hmm. brutalized and hurt. And I think being able to bring this into the light and not sugarcoating everything mm -hmm. um, is really important. People need to see what the world is like and that it's not just all sunshine and rainbows. And I think that's when we can start making real change. If we all generally learn a little bit more about each other and we gain that sensitivity and we gain that knowledge, I feel like the world would be so much of a better place if we had respect, more respect for one another. And if we, we really took an account that everyone is going through something and we, we really need to appreciate each other and learn to work with each other. I think if we all start, you know, internalizing it instead of saying, oh, if only I do this, it's not gonna do much. But imagine if 7 billion people start doing it like thinking oh if I do this maybe it'll do a little thing and then the next person and then the next person and the next person a whole butterfly effect is going to do a ton of change so starting with just yourself is important exactly I 100% agree so Dara as a black woman what do you want your legacy to be oh wow I want to look back at my work and be proud of it I also want to create more spaces, more safe spaces. I want to write more stories that are often looked over. If my work continued to live on, if if I was still proud of it when I'm when I'm older, I would love to still be proud of all that I've done. That would that would be a gift and to be happy, be happy in in myself. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay. What what about you, Kylie? What do you want your legacy to be? I think we need a lot more diversity in the horror genre. I want to help that keep g getting faster and get better when it comes to the genre. I want to start, you know, directing, writing. I'm really into that stuff. So hopefully I can write a project. Yes, I love that. So what advice would you give to other young actors there? Ooh, um, 
I would say keep going. There's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna say, you're not good enough, you're not tall enough, you're not short enough, you're not this, that, and the third. And they're gonna always try to bring you down. But if you remember who you are and you remember to continue to exude your excellence and your greatness and know that there's only one you and only you can do you perfectly, you are unstoppable. That is amazing advice. I'll be taking that myself, actually. Going off of what you said, persistence. <laughs> persistence is key. No one ever got anything done by just dropping it and not picking it back up. Mm -hmm. So be confident in yourself. I know it's very hard to, you know, we internalize a lot of criticism. And yeah. you gotta, you gotta, despite that, you gotta be very confident in yourself and know who you are, like you said. And with that, you've got a good start. I say, I agree. I agree with you. Yes, yes. 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 It was absolutely amazing having you, Queen, on the show. You are absolutely iconic and you are just legendary. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I had a lot of fun. Thank y'all so much for watching, everyone. Let's continue to inspire and uplift one another every single day. And to see more of myself and Dara, check out Secrets of Silver Springs and High School Musical, the musical, the series, season two on Disney+. Plus.